Hey my friends, welcome back. This is Kieran Hogg and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make your own 3D box in Photoshop even if you are a complete Luddite with Photoshop just like me. Okay, so let's get to it you guys. First thing you're going to want to do is just create new and I just created a background with 2000 by 2000 and before we get in here, I apologize for the noise in the back. We got a bunch of kids over and it is chaos. So we want to draw two boxes, two rectangles. We want to draw a front and a side. Okay, we're going to draw two boxes first. The first one is going to be the front and I want it to be 1000 by 1500. Okay, there's our first box. Now I want to draw the side box. That's going to be 350 by 1500. Control T to move. I'm going to clip it in there together. All right, now what we want to do, convert to small, smart layer on the front as well as the side. Control T, right click, perspective. And we want it about six or seven percent. So we'll just go right in the middle, six and a half. And then scale, and we want to press shift and move it in. If we don't press shift, it's going to break apart from the side and it won't look nice. So we want it to bring it in uh, about nine, anywhere around here, 960, 970, anywhere around there is fine. Same thing for the side, control T. And right click, perspective. This one we want to go a little bit higher. So we want to go around we can go anywhere from 10 to 17. I'm going to go 14.4. That looks good. Right click, scale, shift, scale, move it in. And I'm going to move it in to around two. It's all up to you how, how thick you want your book. I'm going to leave it right there. 287. That looks good. Enter. Great. Now we want to put our shadow in. So we want another rectangle. Control T move it around like so so we want it to be kind of parallel here and uh, guys I'm just gonna do this quickly I don't want to waste your time with this you can play spend more time with it but once you get the edge basically is parallel with the bottom here you can right click you can skew now you can distort it so you want this one long elongated like so because that's where your shadow is going to be move it down Now, you need to soften that up. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, Rasterize, yep, 20, around 20 is fine. And we want to bring the opacity down to around 25 as well. 24 is fine. Good. So if I just Control T, you can see, now it's not quite parallel here so we can always just rotate that around a little bit and again this is just a quick and dirty tutorial here you guys can play around with this to make it look really sweet when you're doing your own box there okay front edit contents this is what we're going to do now so our front looks like so we can leave it as gray or we can change the color if we want so anything we want, or we can add an image. So I'm just going to add an image for you guys. But if we wanted to change it, you could just play around with that, okay? Or if you want, yeah, I'm just going to make it black. I'll just do that. You guys can, I'll add a logo to it, okay? Okay, let's add an image. Now I have a lion's head. Okay, so there's a lion's head that I got, just a free logo, just for this. So control A, just to highlight the whole thing, control C, go to our front and paste it in there. Okay, now I wanna scale it, right? So control T and I can drag it. I don't know why it didn't stay in color, but it doesn't really matter for this anyways. Okay, center it. <clears throat> And we can add some text as well. So we can go, oh, let's, let's change the font. 
color. Last tutorial. Control T. You can move that around. We can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Good. Let's just. Now, if we just go Control S, and if I take you over to the front, you can see it's coming along quite nice. Let's go side, edit contents. Here's the side, and I'm just gonna make it black again too, guys. Like so, and if I wanna put the same line head in here, again, I would just, it's already got the little ants crawling around, Control A, so I'll just Control C, Side, Control V, Control T to change the size of it, like so. And I'll just do box tutorial once again on the side. So I'll write text. You can change the font to whatever you want. Control T, and I can rotate it. So counterclockwise, like so, box tutorial. And you can see in my picture that I originally showed you, I put a barcode right here. You can do that as well. You can just grab a barcode and chuck that in there. Control save, enter, control save. Let's go to the front. There we go, box tutorial, box tutorial. Now, if you guys really wanna get nitty gritty, you can put a little line in here to show the difference of where the two sides meet. So let's do that. Let's put in a line. Again, my Photoshop skills are terrible, guys, so just bear with me. I'm gonna draw a line. Two with 100% hardness, and I want a white. Uh, I don't want white. I want a dark gray. Something that won't be too obvious, but it'll still show, like so. Okay, now I gotta zoom in. And there's probably way better ways to do this than the way I'm doing it. So that's the part that I'm really just apologizing for. Con uh, excuse me, shift line, we'll keep it straight. And again, just bear with me. I screwed up there. Ah, son of a gun. All right. I don't know how to undo it. Like I said, I'm a real... All right, so look guys, I screwed up there. You can see a little line there. I don't know how to get rid of that because I am a, just a noob with Photoshop. But you can see that does look pretty cool there. You got your shadow, you got everything going on there. You could add whatever you want in here. I just wanted to make a real quick down and dirty tutorial on how you could do this if you are terrible at Photoshop like me. And then we can crop this down too. There we go, you guys. So then we will just save as downloads. So I'll just call this demo. And then you would just save as a PNG or whatever you wanted to. Whoops, excuse me. All right, and there you go. I hope you guys got value from this. And if you did, please hit that like. And I know my Photoshop skills suck. But if you are like me, I think I spent hours trying to figure this out. So hopefully I can help your learning curve. And guys, hit that bell button so you're always going to be notified for more videos about making money online, about affiliate marketing. This is why I'm doing this, because I'm creating my own box for a product that I'll be launching soon. And if you are new to affiliate marketing, I have a dis uh, free training down in the description below that you should check out. Also, if you're doing launch jacking or making reviews, I've got a free template that'll save you $49 a year down in my description as well. Absolutely free. All right, guys, that's going to be, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.